Now we get to the conclusion of the surah, the, uh, the last the ayah, very, very powerful. By the way, what time is Aisha? 9.15 still or? 9.15. Okay. 9.15? Okay, so we got it. We can finish in shah. In the beginning I said a modern person who's not very religious makes two observations about people. When he looks at the world around him, he makes two observations. One, there is no goodness inside the human being. His only motivations are animal motivations. The second observation was, on the outside, his behavior is always corrupt. Given the opportunity, he will do the wrong thing. And they'll cite, like, you know, what happened after Katrina, or what happened after an earthquake, people are looting stores and all kinds of stuff. The moment you give them an opportunity, they turn into wild animals, literally, right? Two observations, there's no good inside, and given the opportunity, there's no good outside, you know? What is the remedy to that? There are two problems, right? Inside problem, outside problem? Look at this side. The inside problem is solved in the Ladina Adam. With the exception of those who believe. Where is Iman? Inside. And what's the remedy on the outside? Wa salihat. And they acted righteously. Now, when human beings act, when human beings act, they want some reward. They want something. That's why we act. We act because we're running after something. You, you get up early and you go to work because you want to get paid. You go and study for college because you want to graduate. We act because we want something. Our wants are inside, our behavior is outside. Our wants will be cleansed if we have what? Iman. And when Iman is inside, what will be cleansed on the outside? Our behavior. So, الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ The incredible remedy being given to us. Now this is actually the first part. The full explanation of الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ will come in Surah Al-Asr. Where it's fully opened up. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَصَوْا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَصَوْا بِالصَّبْ That's a full explanation. Here it's being alluded to. It's like the seed here, and it'll bloom into a flower there. But it, it's coming a little bit later on in the 103rd ayah, or surah of the Quran. Now anyway. فَلَهُمْ أَجْرٌ غَيْرُ مَمْنُونَ Then they, they, it is only they that have ajr, a pay, a recompense, a reward. Ajr is given to you after you put some work in. Now the work was on the inside and on the outside. The work inside was reviving Iman, and the work outside was doing good things that reconcile and things that correct. They have, only they have an ajr khayyul mamnoon that is not going to be... Now the word mamnoon is common in Arabic nowadays. Okay? Mamnoon comes from the word mani. Mani in Arabic means two things. It means cut, also means favor. Two different things. For example, if you, uh, and this word came up before in Surah Al-Inshiqah also. In the Arabic language, al manin al the uh, the uh, the cloud of dust in the desert, when it's so thick that you can't even see the other side, it cuts your view off, it's called al manin same root, because it's cutting off the view. The other meaning is man. The implication of it here is, number one, they will have a reward that will never be cut off. They will have a reward that will never be cut off. The benefit of knowing this is, their deeds are not endless. Their deeds are temporary, but the rewards are endless. Everything else we work for, the deeds are temporary and the rewards are also temporary. So you have to go back and do more and then get more, and then do more and then get more, and do more and get more. But now you are getting to stop the rat race, you just do this and then you'll have endless. The other word, the word mamnoon is that which will not be imposed as a favor. Meaning Allah will give, Allah will give and ask nothing in return. That will, that they, have, they will have done their part. In the Ladina Amanu wa Amanu Salihat will have been their part. 